All right, guys, Kenny dropped off his all-wheel drive transmission, B-Series. I have that right here. He brought me his hardware. It's a little dirty. It's got a lot of grease on it. I'm just going to try to pressure wash it real quick before I take it over to my dad's house. Brake clean and scotch bright to finish getting any remaining grease off and then finish prepping the transmission. And uh, I'll pick up some aluminum paint and the clear that I usually use whenever I'm doing this. And... Uh, I'll just do this tranny how I've done some of the ones in the past and you guys get an idea how easy it is if you don't got a lot of money or the resources to take it apart and uh, get it sandblasted, bead blasted or whatever. Just kind of a quick way with not a lot of money to do it and make it look good. So we're going to try to do that today. Hopefully all this grease comes off pretty easily. Please tell me they got it. Just uh, we do like a daily vlog for a company we work for in California. I moved out there like probably about six months ago after living here for like 35 years. Yeah. And so we work for a company called Downstar and we do uh, hardware for mm -hmm. vehicles, mostly imports, but we do uh, some domestic stuff also. But it's basically dress up bolt and dress up washer and different finishes, blue zinc, gold zinc, uh, titanium, all kinds of different stuff. Right on. What's your phone number? Do you need a bag? Uh, no thanks. Okay. O'Reilly's happened to have what I needed. Guys, I see a lot of people using like different stuff, uh, paint that they use on their motors. Um, they just grab like any silver, whatever they can off the shelf. I've seen people use barbecue paint. I've seen people use any, any kind of paint they can just to make their transmission silver. A lot of times any of the fluids that get on it is just gonna make that stuff wipe right off. So what I usually do is I get the uh, Duplicolor, the 500 degree, cast aluminum paint from O'Reilly's and I just get a can of the gloss clear engine enamel and I just put it on top of it and anytime fluid gets on it I've been able to wipe it right off and the finish on the transmission stay looking good. So this is what I'm going to use once I get all the grease off the transmission. So a little better base to start with. All right guys, so these parts have some heavy grease on them. Um, I'm just gonna show you how I clean them up at the house. I just get some brake clean from the auto parts store. Just get a couple cans of this. And then I've got uh, just a metal brush here. Um, basically, I'm just gonna spray this on and just sit here and just keep scrubbing this shit off till it's clean. Just had a hole or we made a hole inside this box real quick so we could drop this in there so we ain't got to worry about taping it up and there ain't no paint getting on the on the gears so um i'm just gonna finish cleaning it up like this and then uh probably tape up the end of this right here and then we'll start painting this silver or aluminum all right guys so basically this thing's ready to spray it already looks pretty good this is the stuff that i got Duplicolor engine, cast aluminum, 500 degree temp on this stuff. Uh, and then the clear coat for it, which this helps if you get anything on the motor, uh, coolant, oil, any of that kind of stuff. You could just get a rag with uh, some Windex or some uh, just quick detail or something, just spray it on there and then it'll just wipe right off. We're just trying to have a consistent look, even though we can clean up the motor, clean up the transmission or whatever, they just might be shades off or whatever um, in the casting. So. We're just going to use the paint, like I said before, just quick, easy, uh, affordable way to do it if you don't got the money to take everything apart and have somebody be blasted or whatever to get it cleaner. So uh, this will do just fine. I've done this on plenty of builds in the past uh, just to make it look better. You know, I didn't have a lot of money, so I would just clean up the parts, a little bit of elbow grease. This probably took me about 45 minutes to an hour or so just sitting here scrubbing it with the uh, metal brush and then the brake clean just slowly just scrubbing it down and spraying the brake clean off till all the oil was off of it. So I just got this box here, cut a hole in it, dropped it in there, keep me from taping off the bottom. I'm going to be able to start spraying this right now with this. And it's kind of warm today in Arizona. It's actually considered a nice day. It's in the 70s. Um, 
it should dry up the paint pretty quick on this. I'll probably do two coats of this and then uh, two coats of the clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, first coat on, it's already looking great. Uh, as you can see, it just looks nice and even, has that cast look to it, that's why I get this stuff. Uh, it's called cast aluminum from uh, Duplicator. We got this at O'Reilly's. I'm not sure where else you'll be able to find it, but uh, one coat, it already looks great. So I'll let that dry a little bit, probably for about 10 minutes. And I'll put a second coat on, and then uh, we'll get the clear on. It's ready for the second coat. As you can see, the first time around, I didn't do anything heavy, just real light. You ain't gotta sit there and just bury this shit in there. You'll get a bunch of runs and it'll still look like shit. So just real easy with it, man. Just, just keep hitting the trigger and get a couple little sprays in and you'll be all right. Nothing crazy, guys. Ready to put some clear on it. I use the engine clear, the 500 degree stuff, it's just same stuff, same brand as that, 500 degrees. Um, reason I do this is because trial and error. When I first started doing this, all I did was use this stuff right here. And uh, as soon as your engine starts leaking anything, if you overheat and whatever reason you get the motor started and starts leaking something, I went to go wipe it off and it wiped the shit off with it. Whenever I had a problem after that, anything leaked, I just spray some quick detailer on it and just wiped it off and it was always good for me. So when you're building your motor, you should have a pretty clean motor anyways. You should have all your new seals and uh, try to keep it from leaking as much as possible. And uh, nobody likes a dirty motor. so especially me that's why I got in the shape bays to begin with because I don't like working on greasy engine bays so um, I'll go ahead and get this clear on and then we can see what it's like looks like after that and then I could get the new bolts on and then we're done with the transfer case second coat done we'll just wait for that dry and then uh, I'll show you the downstar kit Alright guys, so we're going to run out of time today to do the transmission. Like I said, it's just a little bit of elbow grease you got to put into this to get it all cleaned up. But if you just got some time on your hands and you want it to look good and you just do it right, it'll come out looking great. I got a little bit more stuff I got to do on this. I was working on the transfer case, so I'm not going to have time to do this. So I'm going to wait till next time so I'm not rushing it. I'm going to pull off like the brackets, pull off the shift selector, and uh, I'm going to try to maybe see what the owner wants to do. Maybe get these chrome dipped so it looks even better or we'll just paint them black. I'm gonna wait to do this on a future episode and um, cause it's just a lot more work to do than uh, what we have today. So I'm just gonna finish off the transfer case and then uh, get the bolts on that. And uh, right now I'm gonna go pick up a seal that I need for Can-Am that I'm working on so I can get the clutch on that before I leave today. And uh, that'll be it. This thing's been sitting in the hot AZ sun for a little while now and it's nice and dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the new bolts on. This is the uh, titanium transfer case kit with the gold zinc bolts buy this off of our website downstarinc.com this is how it arrive when you get it i'm going to go ahead and start with these two small bolts right here they're going to go on this little back plate right in the back so just those first two m6s i'm going to go ahead and install them So I got those first two bolts on right there. That's what they look like. Already looking super sick, guys. Uh, the next row is gonna be this cover right here on top. And uh, go ahead and get those done. And the last bolts I got right here is just gonna be the ones that hold it to the transmission. So I'm just gonna kind of set them in place because we're not gonna attach this to the transmission yet. Um, I need to tr clean that, finish cleaning that, do a bunch of work first, and then as soon as that's all clean, I'll attach this at that time. But I'll go ahead and put it on now just so you can kind of see what it looks like. All right, guys, all said and done, that's what that's going to look like. Super kill. Cool. Couldn't be any happier with that. Later on, I'll end up taking off this 32 mil bolt on the backside right here and pulling out this piece, and I'll probably end up painting that black or getting powder coated black. For now, this is what it looks like when you just do it right. Take a little bit of time. Use the cast aluminum paint with the clear, and then this is 
all new hardware installed. Looks super sick. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the parts out of the truck for the side-by-sides. We, uh, on my dad's razor, when I had to go help him, uh, ended up being the stator, so I went and got a new stator for it today, and then got the seal that I needed for the Can-Am that I'm working on, and uh, hopefully I'm gonna get the clutch on the Can-Am and be able to take that for a ride a little later. All right, so if you remember the other day when I went to go drop this off, this thing was all full of belt. Um, got it all taken apart. Shout out to the homies over at Right Now. They got me taken care of on this. Right Now in Peoria. Got it all cleaned up, taken apart, and put back together. All good to go to put on the Can-Am. This Can-Ams are pretty much a rich man sport. Only any side by side, they just cost a lot of money. So basically, what happened was the belt exploded, took out the clutch covers, and. Uh, took out the seal in the back so it made the transmission starting to leak so i'm gonna have to replace the seal on that got that right here that goes with that and then on my dad's razor yesterday as you saw that thing broke down um stator need a new stator for that so this is that brand new part i'm gonna have to install this the next time i come down because i'm not gonna have time today gonna have to install that my weekends are always packed every time i come here i always got a ton of stuff to do and it feels like i never got enough time so uh we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, clutch installed on the Can-Am and then hopefully start that up here in a little bit and take it for a ride. <sighs> All right guys, this is what happens when the belt explodes. This one, it has the geyser clutch cover already, but uh, somehow the belt ended up just taking it out anyways. It might've been going pretty fast when this happened, but completely broke the bolt out and uh, just destroyed the whole thing, broke the whole case on the back side here yeah just destroyed it so it needs a new one no matter what gotta get this little seal on first and then uh install this inner clutch cover put on the clutches put on the belt put the outer clutch cover back on and then we'll be done with this thing go ahead and get started so basically this is the seal that got taken out back here and it started leaking so it started leaking some of the transmission fluid out i'm basically just going to spray this off with some brake cleaner to get that stuff off and then take out the seal and then just inspect the shaft to make sure it doesn't got any major nicks on it. But uh, it's usually behind this. I already took this off in advance. I'm gonna clean this up with some brake cleaner too and uh, get the new seal installed. All right, so the shaft looks pretty good on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and install the new seal on it. Get that in. Put this plate back on right here, this Alba Racing plate, and then uh, it's supposed to protect that seal a little bit. Get this Alba plate on it, get the covers back on. So the clutch cover's all on and everything, clutch is all fixed, belt's on. Uh, like I said, it's like a rich man's sport. This job, if you blow this belt and you break the clutch housing and everything and you replace all that stuff, it's about a thousand dollar job, eleven $1 hundred dollars minimum with labor. It's recommended to do the uh, clutch liner on the inside of the new clutch cover, the clutch covers, the inner and outers, and then the new seal for the transmission and getting it all installed. It's a lot of work, but these things are a lot of fun, so they just cost a lot of money to maintain them. I'm going to go ahead and take this thing out for a ride real quick just to make sure everything works on it. So that should be ready to go, and I'm going to get ready to pack up and uh, head home for the day. Can-Am drove great. Um, that thing's ready to go back to the owner. Hit the house real quick, order some pizza. We're gonna eat some dinner, shower up, and we're gonna head back to California. Real quick though, we're always having toppers out in California. I'm always like, man, you guys gotta have borrows out in Phoenix. Shit is bomb. Yes, there's other pizza places that might be better, but borrows is my favorite. Been having it for years. Car club meetings used to be there back in the day. So I had to show the homie Gabe what the pizza's like out here, what my favorite pizza is. So we got it right here. Thin crust, pepperoni jalapeno, none of that pineapple garbage. I don't know, nobody around here likes that shit. And then the wings, spicy barbecue. 
this shit is delicious 100% fire so we're gonna eat real quick shower up and we're gonna head out back out to California